It's locked. Hmm. Smell a suspect. You know, sus. A little sussy. Anyways, I think it's time for some serious confrontation. Get ready for some more Nancy Drew here on Travis J's Space. On you. <laughs> Enjoy! What are you doing out here? <laughs> Howdy folks! Welcome to Travis J's Space here on YouTube. And welcome back to another episode of Nancy Drew, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Now folks, this episode, I feel like it's going to get very intense very quickly. <laughs> and I also don't know if it's going to be that long because as you can see, we are in the depths of the tunnels <laughs> and if you can remember from the last episode we unlocked a lot of stuff we had a lot of revelations we wanted to actually go and confront emily because we discovered that she's been behind all this <laughs> but when we came to leave we discovered we were locked in so from all of everything in the last episode <laughs> leading up to the end it kind of led me to believe that we're coming to the end of this mystery. Because now I can't leave and we're stuck in a new place with a load of puzzles. So, something is up. Something is up. Now, now, <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to say. The direction I'm trying to take. I'm very, I'm full of thoughts right now. There's just so much going through my mind. What are you guys thinking right now? Because this is, this is kind of intense. Um, what's going through my mind is I'm starting to think that what we need to do, and I have a strong feeling this might be the end. I'm not sure. However, we need to get through this door again. Use the key on the door uh, that's deeper in this tunnel. Figure out whatever's behind it. And then I guess we'll go from there. And, yeah, I guess that's all we can do, by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. All right, well, here we go, folks. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm very scared. All right, well, you got your tea? Fabulous. Fabulous. Very good. You got a blanket? Something warm. I'm a little cold myself. I got this blanket wrapped around tightly today. And you're comfortable, right? That's all that matters. As long as you're good. As long as you are cozy, we can carry on. All right, Clue Crew. Let's do this thing. Let's do this. Okay, let's see if I can remember. Beautiful. And now we are going to open Moment of Truth. We are going to open this door. Whoa. 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 What is all of this? The wheel is gone. Okay. Uh, so it looks like this is a giant safe of some sort. And... It's filled with water. By the looks of this gauge. Okay, so we gotta... Something's missing here. Well, I, I mean, I can't help you. I don't got a wheel. <laughs> uh, what if we just start spinning? It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. I've missed that. It's locked. Well, here we go. What's that gonna do? Is that going to bring the water down? Mm, not really. Oh, well that one's coming down. It's, oh, okay. Look at that. I think I, I think I emptied it. 
Oh, dang. Okay, we're going for a little swim. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, Nancy did not, Nancy did not survive that one, unfortunately. So, it looks like I need a, a dang wheel of some sort. this one's been spun and we can't spin the big one in the middle so it looks like we're looking for a wheel but oh look at that fabulous all right all right here we go the wheel is gone not anymore girl the wheel is spinning but nothing's happening oh you just stick a pin Something's in there Something's missing here Oh, screwdriver. Yes. It's locked. Oh. It's locked. Well, hold up. Did I just spin It's this? locked. Okay. So we'll spin this one. <laughs> trial and error. Trial and error. We'll, we'll get this. We'll get this. Spin that one. And then we'll spin this one. Here we go. Okay, sounds like the water is draining. The filling. I don't understand. I'm this close to finding the gold. I just know it. It's locked. Is it safe to go? <laughs> Sorry, I'm so nervous. Is it safe to open now? I don't think it is. I mean, we can give it a try, but... Ah, no. <laughs> no, we got drowned out again. Twice in a row. All right. Let's try this again. It's locked. Is there something else? It's locked. It's locked. It's blocked. It's locked. It's locked. It's, it's locked. locked. Wait. It's locked. Oh. It's blocked. <laughs> it's locked. Oh gosh. It's too funny. Wait, why do why can I take this out? Why is that important to take out? You know, I don't understand this. Oh, there we go. Yay. Okay. Okay. Here we go, folks. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. The water levels are at an all-time low. It's empty. We can see what's inside of it. I'm very nervous. I think we I think Nancy's right. I think we just found the gold. Here we go. You ready? Are you ready? I don't know if I am. <laughs> I gotta be. Okay, let's go. Oh. Ain't nothing but a set. Oh. Oh, it goes down. Oh, this is very creepy. It's like a lowered fault of some sort. Interesting. Built by Kohlmeister Wellworks. And there's a Roman numeral that we might have to... Oh, we might have to use right now. Wait a minute. What the heck is this? Oh, shoot. This is all of the dog's birth dates. I bet you. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I have it in my notes. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have the dog's birth dates. Oh, that is a tricky one. Well, let's let's go right back to the beginning and see if Nancy made note of it in the beginning. Because then I will write that down and then... <sighs> this is very scary. 
this, this is definitely the final scene, y'all. <laughs> definitely. I'm very nervous. I'm very scared about all this because... I don't know. That Emily is a wild one. I feel like she's just gonna pop out of nowhere and give us a whack on the head. We've already been beaten up, tied up, almost set on fire. And if that was all Emily's doing, I am so disappointed in her. So disappointed. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Lucy, who is green. Lucy. Green. Uh, 22. Iggy. Which I have as yellow. Yellow. 19. 1919. 19, 19. So 19. Zvitus. Vitus. Vital to the situation. Uh, 1920. Oh, what's this color again? Blue. 1924. So put 24. All uh, right, and Xander, last but not least. Uh, red. And he was born in 23. Okay. Okay, that's that's probably the These answer. These colors look very familiar. Yes, they do. They do now. All right, so green needs to be 22. Yellow needs to be 19. Wait, what? Okay, maybe it's not the year. <laughs> maybe it's the day. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, um, let's just scroll down again. All the way down. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, we're still going down. Dang. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. There we go. Yellow. Iggy. Oh, okay, so it might actually be 22 or, and I'll put or, or, or. So Lucy Green, four. So Lucy could be four. Iggy, 11. Vitus, eight. And Xander, 16. All right. Each color could match up with one of Malone's dogs, but what about those numbers? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, Nancy, Nancy is on our side here. Or, well, she's obviously always on our side, but she's uh, she's picking up quick. Picking up very, very fast. We love it. All right, so let's see here. So maybe four instead. So green, we'll try to do four. Nope. That's not how it works. So it's definitely the years. <laughs> well, what the heck? Red would be 23. Blue would be 24. And yellow is 19. But we can't get 19. Unless we do 11. Let's try 11. Blue, 24. Nothing. I am so confused. <laughs> so it's not the years, right? Because this is all the right order. 22, 23, 24. And this should be 19. 
but we can't get a nine. <sighs> okay, let's try again. Wish this would go faster. <laughs> um, because <laughs> oh, oh, big stretch. Oh, so nice. Oh, everything's cracking. Oh, that was really nice. Um, sure, I was gonna say. So if it's not the year and it's not the day then it must be the month I guess I wonder if we also have their death dates was born was born was born but that's it okay winter summer winter spring All right, well, let's go by the month then. We've done the date, we've done the year. Let's do the month. So Xander could be 23 or 16 or <laughs> uh, eight, eight for August. And then Vitus, February, January, Fe two. No, this isn't gonna work. Iggy. Eleven. Uh, it might work. It might work. So it's still eleven, actually, too. So that's good. November eleventh. Eleven, eleven. Uh, Lucy. Fourth. Oh, four. Oh, I already had four for that one. Okay. There's a couple differences from the days, but not too much. So green would be four. See, but we can't do four. 44, but that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <sighs> Red, 23. Blue, 24. And yellow is 11. I'm convinced that this is 11. Like, it has to be 11. Okay, let's make green 22 again then. And red, let's make red 23 again. And let's make this 24. I am very confused. <sighs> very, very confused. Iggy, winter, summer, spring, fall, or spring, oh my goodness, I don't understand. I really Maybe the numbers have something to do with the dog's names. The dog's names? Oh, you guys! You guys, I wrote this down. Oh my gosh. Remember when... This is all hitting me now. Remember when we did the spigots on the speakeasy and the letters, the uh, the first letter of each name of the dogs made a Roman numeral, right? X-V-I-L. So if I can figure out what X-V-I-L means, that's probably the password or the, the, the combination. Right? So... Let's see here. So X, V. So X is 10. 10. V is 5, right? Yep, 5. And L or I is 1. 1. And L is 1,000. No, sorry, 50. <laughs> okay. So according to Roman numeral laws... Uh, 
<sighs> Shoot. I'm forgetting how this works. Is there an example I can use? Okay, CLX VII 168. So if it's separated, but this is all together. MCM is 19, so it's not 19. XV105. So 15. XVIL. XV105. So 15. But if it's lower than the next number, which this one is, 1 minus 50 to be 49. So 1549, I guess? That doesn't make any sense. Fifteen forty-nine. Well, hold on. Hold on. Who was born first? Let's put it in order. So, 19 would be Iggy. So we got I first, not X. Lucy would be the next one, so L. Xander, X, Vitus, last. So now we got ILXV, which is 1, 50, 10. Oh, this might be actually a lot more plausible. And 5. So 1 minus 50 is 49, plus 10 is 59. Plus five is sixty-four. Still doesn't still doesn't add up. What is a thousand? One hundred, one thousand. <sighs> well shoot. <laughs> I really don't know here, guys. I really don't know here. X, L. I guess we could just try switching it up. But there's got to be an order, right? The order is right in front of me. Oh, my goodness. Green is Lucy. So it starts with L. Okay, okay, okay. It's right in front of me. Yes, red is X. Oh, LX. This is making more sense now. Blue. 20, uh, I. LXI. V. LXI, V. So 50 minus 10. 1 plus 5 is 40. Six, forty-six. That still don't make sense. Forty-six. I mean, when you add all their no the numbers together. <gasps> oh, what if? I didn't realize this had to be. <sighs> okay, let's try this then. <laughs> I didn't realize you could change this number here. I thought it always had to be uh, the same. Well, let's see here. According to the Roman numerals, this should be 10. Let's try it a Roman numeral way. Blue for Xander. Or sorry, what? <laughs> this isn't, I don't think this is going to work. No, this isn't going to work. Vitus starts with a V, which is a Roman numeral. Okay, maybe I was right then. <laughs> okay. So maybe the original way I had it was right? Who's green? Lucy. Okay, so Lucy. Red. Xander. Okay, so 501015. 501015. Let's try that worth a shot.
one and five. <laughs> and five. Fifty ten one five. No. Shoot. Okay, let's try ten. Ten five one fifty. Ten five one fifty. Ten five one fifty. No. Okay, one fifty ten five. One fifty ten five. I hope we get this. Erg. No. Gosh darn it. Vita starts with a V, which is a Roman numeral. Oh. Wait, this all makes sense. So it should be Lucy, Lucy Xander. Oh, 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 I think I screwed up. Lucy Green, Xander Red, Vitus Blue. Oh, so it could be LXVI, not LXIV. Oh, Travis. Okay, let's try it this time then. So it's. 50, 10, 1, 5. Oh, this is just exhilarating, guys. But very tiring, though, too, I must say. I just want to open this door. So 50, 10, 1, and 5. I really hope this works. Oh, oh shoot. 50, 10, 1, 5. What? What? Uh. Vita starts with a V, which is a Roman numeral. The colors and numbers. I'm telling you, I've tried almost every possible combination here. Okay, let's... No, that doesn't work. There's no eight, right? No, it goes up to five. So the years of their birth, that's like that's irrelevant because uh, there's no nine. Four, eleven, eight, and sixteen. That won't work because there's no six. Oh four, eleven, two, and eight, that won't work because there's no eight. So it has nothing to do. <laughs> Oh, so what we've canceled out is that it has nothing to do with their birth day or birth year. But Nancy keeps mentioning the Roman numerals. So it must have something to do with that. Now, I wonder... I think I've already done this, but let's try uh, one fifty ten five. One fifty. This is 
probably the last option I can think of. Ten. Five. Oh. Ten. Five. Or maybe we have to add... Oh, shoot. Uh... Alright, I'm going to take a quick break and see what I can figure out about this. Trust me, I'm not going to find the answer. I'm not going to ruin it or spoil it. I'm just going to dig a little deeper and see if I can research here, come up with some ideas. I'll come up with a few ideas and I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> All right, folks. I have figured it out. I think. I think. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Okay. Fingers crossed. I had to do a little bit of research. I know it was just a split second for you guys. It shows that I was here and then I wasn't. <laughs> but it actually took me quite a while. About 30 minutes of research and doodling here. But I think I've got the code. Fingers crossed, y'all. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I don't think I can handle this. Whoa! <laughs> okay, guys. So, from what I've gathered, it might be 50, 50, 11, 42. I hope this is it, y'all. I'm very nervous. My stomach is turning right now. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. 40. Oh, oh. 42. 42. 42. Uh, okay. What's the last one? 10. <gasps> what the heck? The heckin' heck. It still didn't work. <laughs> well, shoot. Ain't that a load of baloney? Well. Well. What's this Roman numeral here? Maybe that's it. 19, 24. 1924? No, that's not going to work. That's only two. Uh, hmm. Okay, maybe we're not meant to figure it out just yet. But, like, we can't leave. So... What exactly? I better make sure this door is closed all the way before I fool around with anything else. Yeah, that's a smart idea, Nancy. <laughs> a very smart idea. Um, however, I am really uncertain. Oops. <laughs> I have trouble opening doors today. Alright, so... Alright. I am so confused. So I guess... I guess we gotta figure this out now. Like right now. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let's let's look at all the options here. The one thing I haven't done yet, the only thing I haven't done, is tried any other possible combination of the dog's initials with the Roman numerals. So we've done I L X V. We haven't tried I uh X V L. Let's try that. <clears throat> What's another combination? Uh, L. How about L L L V? How about L V? We haven't tried L V yet. L V X I. Let's try that as well. L V X I. We will try. kind of makes sense that uh, L would be first because it's 50, right? I don't know, though. It's it's very peculiar. I don't think I don't think these four There's four, though. Yeah, I, I don't know if it has anything to do with the letters, but they're saying that it does. 
Nancy's saying it. They're saying online. The look on the bottom of the well must have something to do with the dogs. Their colors and numbers. Maybe Roman numerals. Colors and numbers. Colors and numbers. <laughs> Colors and numbers. Man. LXIV. Have I tried that? I have. According to Wikipedia, Idaho is a state in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States. <gasps> Oh. The state of Alexa, enough. That's that's enough. <sighs> she is out here. Alexa is out here trying to scare the crap out of me. Girl, you are not part of the Clue Crew. I don't think she'd be able to give us an answer anyways. <laughs> uh, this is the first time ever, folks, that I'm completely stumped. I'm stumped! You know what? Let's examine, let's examine, uh, I have an idea. Let's examine their portraits again. Maybe there's a clue we missed in there. I, I don't know though, I don't know. I'm not certain, but we'll definitely give it a go. Let's see if that's what we're supposed to look at. See, because they got all these photos, right? Iggy is yellow. Is it always that way? I guess it was always that way. So Iggy, yellow. And we have Vitus, blue. Wait, IV, Iggy, Vitus. Oh, it's a different order that these portraits are in. Maybe that's the order we're looking for. Lucy, yeah, but it doesn't matter because these numbers. The Roman numerals of the start of their names, it, it doesn't add up. The numbers don't add up anyways, right? Oh no, we can add zeros. Okay. Okay, we might get on we might be onto something here. Might. Keyword might. This might be it, this might not be it. Oh, I keep shutting doors all day long <laughs> before I get into them. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay. Gosh turn tootin' rootin'. Tootin' rootin', good old time. Okay. Okay, so we got a, a few more ideas here. Oh, one, ten, fifty. And L is. Oh, wait, L is fifty. V is five. So we have V is five. L is fifty. X is ten. And one is one. And then this one, I have another combination I, which is zero one. V which is five, L, which is 50, and X, which is 10. Okay, all right, let's try all of these out. And if they don't work, <laughs> then I don't know what to tell y'all. I really don't. Okay, okay. <sighs> Fingers crossed. I'm nervous because every time I try this, if it works, then we're gonna, we're gonna start a whole new patch of worms. Meaning that I feel like a whole bunch of shh is going to hit the f. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How about that? 01100550. No? Okay. Moving right along. We try 50. 05. 10. 01. 10, oh, 01, <laughs> 50, oh, 5, 10, oh, 01, no, oh my word folks, this is, this is getting kind of, I just, I'm losing my, I don't know if I can, oh, <laughs> this is a lot, a lot, a lot, all right, let's try this, 10, 
And that's 50. And that's 10. A 105510? No! Well, let's try these three combinations again. Because these three were the most plausible. And for some reason, they don't work. But I feel like I didn't put them through properly the last time. So let's just. Oh! 0150105, not it. Okay, so we try 50. <sighs> I'm going to start crossing out these numbers pretty soon so I don't forget which ones I've already tried <laughs> and which ones I haven't tried yet. Because this is just... The anticipation is what's killing me here. Zero. Zero. 510015. Okay. 501015. 510. Oh wait. I just did that. Oh, no, no, sorry. I messed up. These two orders are different. These are switched. So it's got to be 0501. Maybe this is it. Folks, there we go. Woo! <laughs> yeah. We got it. We got it. Yeah. Oh, blessed be so moted be. Gods and goddesses, spirit guides, all guardian angels, Aphrodite, Lucina, Apollo, Fortuna, Calypso, Zalthar, Gramps, Tiffany. Thank you so much. Uh. I don't even know how long that took. I think that took like 40 minutes. <laughs> no, more than that. It was like an hour and a bit because I had to go do my own research. Now, what the heck is this? The wheel is gone. Oh, you're kidding me. So I got to go all the way up here. I got to go all the way outside. I got to go all over here. And I got to take this and I got to take that. Oh, I got to take that. Yeah, that's mine now. Okay. And now we're going to go back down the tunnel. This is a very, I mean, this man was all about security. Let me say that. I don't think anyone would ever stumble across this or even be able to uh, break through its defenses. I mean, oh, here we go. Okay, good. I don't have to do the puzzle again. Here we go. Oh, Nelly. What's in here? <gasps> I see something shiny in there. Oh. 600 pounds of gold bullion. Wow. Oh, Dang! Wow! So one of these bad boys must weigh like 50 pounds. Oh, honey. Nancy, if I were you, I'd be throwing all these in my knapsack. I'd empty this knapsack full of inventory and start filling it with this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a lot of gold, I must say. All right, well, it's time to go confront some people. Oh. Hey there, Nancy. Oh. Why, what on earth have we got here? Oh, you little shit. I can't I let Emily known. catch me. Oh, okay, this is it, folks. This is it. Okay. Don't Looks you like... shut that door on me, Nancy Drew. Oh, shoot. Did I shut it? I didn't shut it. Wait, too late to go back up, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, whoops. What the hell? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Shit it! Quickly! There's plenty of gold here we can share. I don't think so, honey. Why don't you keep it all to yourself? Bye! Open the door! <laughs> oh, I need to get damn. out of here. How do I get out? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nancy, oh. wait. Let's talk about this. This can just be our little secret. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, remember? I ain't scratching nothing. You Nancy! The gold's the all head. yours, Em. Enjoy it while you can. Yeah, that's right. Try being rich in a hole in the ground for the rest of your life. I ain't gonna be Dear so Ned, easy. as soon as I got out of the tunnels, Emily had left a door open. I called the sheriff. But when I let him back down the well to the room where I left <laughs> Emily, she Look refused to leave. Look he and his deputies finally got her out. But one of them said afterward that if he had to choose between getting a bear away from her cub and getting Emily away from that gold, he'd pick the bear. <laughs> What's worse, by the time they took Emily away, oh, the place was knows. swarming with reporters from all over the country. 
The commotion has scared Sword away every bird, bird for miles. I'm pretty sure Red Knot would like <laughs> to strangle me. On the other hand, when Ranger Akers found out that seven cars and two helicopters were illegally parked on park property and that he was going to get to ticket them, he was ecstatic. Tucker Davis Yay. finally cleared away that dead tree, which means Yay. I'm free to drive home. Moon Lake is beautiful, but I've had enough wildlife for now. I Which reminds want more. <laughs> me, did I mention that those four ghost dogs are actually very sweet? They're so sweet, Aww. in fact, that Sally is seriously thinking about adopting them. How's that for irony? <laughs> Ever yours, Nancy. The best kind of irony. Yay! Best hi, it's Nancy. I'm at this little amusement park on the coast. Ooh, I wish a I could say I was having a mystery. wonderful time, but the fact is, some pretty spooky things have been happening here. There have been some strange accidents, and the carousel, it starts up in the dead of night all by itself, like it's haunted or something. You know me, I don't get scared very easily, but I saw it myself, and I'll call you later. I've gotta go, I've gotta go right now! Oh my. Well, that seems like a fun mystery. Is this one the... Haunted Carousel. Oh, I don't like that music. Yes, it is the Haunted Carousel. Oh, that just gives me a heebie-jeebies. <laughs> well, we'll definitely be playing that one eventually. Coming soon? Yeah, coming soon to Travage's Space. Well, <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's done. We're done. This happens every time, doesn't it? We get to the end, you don't realize it's the end. You're going through the end, still not thinking it's the end because you're so full of anticipation and excitement. And then you get here and it's just, it's over. I mean, wow, Emily. I mean, we knew it was Emily because the last episode we found all her information. We found all her evidence she left behind carelessly, didn't pack it up or bring it with her to her shop. Just left it all sitting around. She probably didn't think anyone was gonna get in there anyways. Because first of all, you gotta get through what? A tombstone to get down there. You gotta go into the speakeasy. You gotta open that lock mechanism with the spigots just to open the secret door. Then you gotta go through there, unlock another puzzle that unlocks the door to the dog. So, I mean, that's a crazy amount of things to do just to visit a place. She was really putting in that effort, though. I don't know how she got down there without the key to the, the, uh, the grave, though. That was very interesting. <sighs> wow. Can't trust that dang Emily, let me tell you. She's a, she's a wild child. She's a wild animal. <laughs> that one. I should have known, though. You know, she's all nice and sweet, playing nice with us, everything else. And then she goes and turns her back. And you know what? It makes sense. She was very upset we were wearing that ranger badge, too. Because, I mean, first of all, he's always... Ranger Jakers is always getting her in trouble for, uh, for raking the lake. But... It just seemed odd that she was upset about that. I really wasn't sus of her though. I really thought Red Knot was acting very sus. So it was freaking Emily that knocked us over the head, tied us up, threw us in a shed, and let us burn to death. Some people's motives, I tell you. <laughs> you really can't trust some peeps. <laughs> wow. Well. I'm still in shock. <laughs> But uh, I guess that brings us to the end of our adventure here today <laughs> and our mystery, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. That brings us to the end, folks. Um, I'm very sad to go because this has been probably one of the most, one of my favorite games aesthetically and environmentally. It really feels like, I think it's because I live in Canada. I'm so used to our Canadian summers here. Uh, we do lots of camping, going out and adventuring and wilderness, and there's a lot of wilderness out here. So we take the time when it's nice and warm to appreciate it. And uh, and I did that a lot growing up too with my, par uh, my parents and, and friends. And so playing this really feels like I'm, it feels like you're reliving those, those memories and those moments. So it's really special. This one was really special to me and I'm sad to see it go. <laughs> um, but yeah. This just means we're ready for the next mystery, y'all. All right, folks. Thank you guys so much for everything. Also, I want to shout out before I even go here. I, it's a very, very, very important, crucial. I thank and shout out the Clue Crew. Y'all know how to hold it down. You guys, without you, I would not be here. We would not be watching credits. We would still be two puzzles ago, sitting there for an hour trying to figure it out. So, without you, without your help this would never be possible and it would never be what it is it would never be the same experience it wouldn't be fun without you so i'm really happy y'all are here and you're helping me out and you're present and you're you've got your magnifying class and your notes and you're just you're all about it 
y'all give me pointers on things that I never even thought of or <laughs> thought to contemplate. So, and then specifically in the Clue Crew, I really want to show it and thank dearly from the bottom, bottom of my heart to the top of my consciousness. I want to thank Abigail Cook and Red Wolf. You two, I can't say it enough. You guys are so helpful. You guys are so observant, so careful. You guys have always the best ideas and theories, the greatest hunches that always end up to be true. <laughs> so it really helps. You guys are awesome. You guys are so great. Like I can't even begin to express how uh, appreciative and grateful I truly am. So thank you and stay tuned because I'm going to need you for the next. <laughs> Stay tuned, because I'm going to need you for the next mystery. Ain't that the truth? Stay tuned, Clue Crew. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, the credits have rolled through twice now, which is... Oh, three times now. Great. Yeah. Uh, A.K.A. I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> and I stall a lot. So... I'll leave it here. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you for helping me in this mystery. You guys are the greatest. You guys work tirelessly. We all will we'll work tirelessly to solve these mysteries. And I'm sure Nancy appreciates it too. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I appreciate you. And one thing I will always say, always, 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 is that this has been my full pleasure. And it is my honor to make these games, or make these Let's Plays, and to share this mutual experience of love and compassion and memories with you. And we get to work together to do something good and fun <laughs> and innocent. Good, clean fun. <laughs> That's what it is here at Travis J's Space. All right, folks. Namaste. Toodles for now. Ta-ta. Ciao. Bye, Clue Crew. Good work. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at Travi J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.